Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Most global markets are actually slightly higher uh, today following on Friday's uh, announcement that there had been a, a potential loan agreement, uh, an extension for four months rather than the six months that uh, Greece were actually after. Though there's some important information coming out later on today about some reform that Greece has to approve before everything all goes, goes through. But nevertheless, most global markets are that little bit higher with the US 30 now currently trading uh, on Friday evening. Anyway, it managed to close at an all-time high. We're on the right side of potential um, broken resistance now, expected to act at support at 18,112. Um, Germany 30 up very high as well, 11,138. UK 100 doing particularly well. Um, you can see we absolutely smashed it there on Friday to finish up the session. Uh, the candle we're getting right now is not following through with that much conviction. This is not a, a positive candle to have. We have been higher this morning. Uh, probably just a matter of fact, let's find out where that high point was. Uh, at the very, very start of the uh, of the session there, you are looking around about uh, 6,960. Uh, but it's since come off a little bit. So 6906.8 was a previous resistance, uh, which is now going to be expected to act, to act as potential support. So if we do get that drift down there, that could be the springboard for a move further higher should uh, the whole Greece situation uh, continue to be diffused. So if we move on to Japan 225 and one second, um, the Japanese yen has uh, lost a little bit of its uh, value. US dollar has moved that little bit higher. So I think dollar yen is now trading at 119 spot 20. Uh, let's have a little look at that. Um, not really anything more to talk about uh, over the last couple of sessions. Well, the last three months has been bouncing around this level. Uh, seems to be about about 119 seems to be the um, the potential pivot here for either that springboard for a move higher or that move lower. We have looked at a potential trend line uh, along the bottom of the tips of these candles right here. So maybe that will remain intact. But uh, dollar yen is not where the action is right now. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, um, remember we had the break of that potential trend line there last week. Um, with uh, We're actually trading below $50 right now. This should still be seen as a negative technical event. Um, unless we manage to get back above uh, $54.85. From a technical perspective, anyway, you've got a crossover in the MACD. Um, the RSI and slow stochastic didn't quite get into overbought territory, but that crossover is not so, not so great for an trending market, and we're about to recross that zero line as well. So, from a technical perspective, anyway, West Texas crude on the down. Um, gold is not benefiting from the dollar surge. We do have more economic data due out of um, out the US. So this is obviously quite interesting because we had the F, the dovish FOMC session there on Wednesday. Uh, we actually do have a Janet Yellen testimony at some point this week, uh, at the start of this week anyway. Um, we have had some decent data on Thursday or Friday. We had the jobless claims that came out slightly better than expected. And the market seems to have really taken some uh, some solace from that and it's helping the US dollar gain a little bit of momentum against its, uh, its other majors but gold is is the real proxy for that and you can see it's still coming off quite aggressively so anything positive uh, US data wise is going to have a negative impact on gold and vice versa but 11 spot 86 is the next potential support level to be aware of there so finishing up with euro dollar and GBP USD, euro dollar is not going to be doing a huge amount until we get this Greece thing completely thrashed out. We pretty much ended bang on the level we opened on Friday. You can see this uh, spinning top formation just outside of the um, symmetrical triangle area. Uh, we'll have to redraw this again after the fundamentals fully come together. But certainly <laughs> we're still in the middle of a range. It's not doing a huge amount just now. Uh, one spot 1376 is probably where... Uh, we're going to continue to see your dollar trade around, so quite a tight range. And uh, we'll just see how the, uh, how the Greece thing pans out later on today. And we finish up, finish up with GBP USD. Uh, came off last uh, two sessions, we're down again today. We're below potential uh, resistance at one spot, 54.24, resistance or support. And we're quite close to that 55 period SMA. Technicals are relatively neutral, sans the slow stochastic there that's slightly overbought. Uh, which could be giving a reversal signal to sell any moment. So if we have a look at the economic data, you've got uh, German IFO business expectations data coming out at 9 a.m. UK time and then existing home sales in the US. So not a huge amount today, to be fair. Uh, you go on to tomorrow and you've got German GDP, UK house prices, Eurozone CPI, um, and then you've got the uh, CCI in the US. So a fair amount of information coming out on Tuesday and then Wednesday, of course, don't forget you've got your crude oil uh, inventories data that's always been uh, quite a negative uh, way on West Texas crude over the last seven 
uh, six or seven weeks anyway so this will be good to look at if you are trading crude and you've got a uh, Chinese PMI data due out as well so keep your eye on the chart form make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next